MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. Now to the plate, Ramon Laureano, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Granky ready now, the 1-1. One, one. The count is two and one. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Bregman has it. And a good throw gets him one gun. Striding in for Oakland, Tony Kemp. For the series, he's three for 12. Tony Kemp. Here's the one and one pitch. And it's one and two. Our game time temperature pushing up close to 90 degrees, 89 degrees to be exact at first pitch. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Now at the plate, Marcus Semyon. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series, 0 for 7. 3 2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Uriel picks it up. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Hits softly on the ground to first. He's right there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Striding in for Houston, Alex Bregman. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's a 417 hitter. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. In now, Jose Altuve. On that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Just one for ten in the series coming in, so he'll look for better results here today. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's out. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. All even now, two and two. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So now it's that's Mark Canna. He also had three hits in the win Mark. last night. The 2 1 home. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. 2-2. Two, two. Fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two, two. Here's a ground ball out to the shortstop, Correa. He's got it. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. 
So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Now the 2-1 pitch. Down to three one. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Around first, digging for two. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Joe Reinhardt. To the plate now, George Springer. Got him. So a runner on second with one down now. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Correa. The 3 1. Fouled off. Guriel, the runner at second with one away. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So here's Josh Reddick. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. He's set. The 2-2. Two -two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Good battle. Count remains full. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. He set the payoff pitch. Popped him up. And Chapman gathers it in. The inning is over. Chris Davis next to bat. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season. So perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. And the count will be full. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The next 3-2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. He's been a non-factor in the series. No hits to this point. Hit out towards second. Altuve fields it cleanly. Throw on to first. Two gone. Next up for the A's, Austin Allen. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. There is Altuve. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Now batting, Garrett Stubbs, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. 
high in the air out towards shallow right. The Scotty's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Next up for the Strohs, Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the 2-1 to Brantley. Uh, could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball foul down the left side. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Three and two, full count. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Bases are empty, one man out. Hold high in the air out to right field. The Scotty is there, two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Alex Bregman. He reached on a single in his first try. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Strike three called, and the inning is over. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Whoa, right back at him, and it hit him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here it comes. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. No one can make a play on this one, and the A's first hit is going to be for extra bases. The back of the Into the box, Marcus Simeon. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. 
Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The set and the one two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. One and two, here it is, and it's fouled away. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter, Jordan. At the plate, Jordan Alvarez drilled on the ground to short. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Grounded to third. Chapman's got it. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 3 2 pitch. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. Brentley moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the power hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. The left fielder, number two. Here's Chris Davis now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Two balls and two strikes, the count to Chris Davis. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Davis will round first and make his way to second now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Piscotti. Stepping in now, Stephen Piscotti. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Fouled away. Grounded to first. Guriel brings it in. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Stepping into the box, George Springer. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And that nope. misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. The batter, and the plate, Carlos Correa. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Count still at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line drive to center field. Loriano is there and he has it for the first out. So a runner at first with one out now. And that brings up the former gold glover Josh Reddick. The one two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Ready now, Garrett Stubbs comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. A two-and-two two count to the Astros catcher. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Riding into the box, Austin Allen. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here it is on 3 and 1. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball 4, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ball 2. Ball three. Three and two now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ramon Laureano goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. 3 2 pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Reddick is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Digging in once again, Marcus Simeon, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hits this one hard the other way. Altuve has it. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. Here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. 1-1. Uh, one, one. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. 1-1. One, one. 
A ball and two strikes. One, and two. one out, nobody on. Now a swing and a ground ball. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now back, second baseman, Jose Altuve. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Alvarez. The 3 1. Hit hard to the right side. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's 1 for 3. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Mike Fire trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. At the plate now, Yuli Gurriel. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. At the plate, George Springer. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. The 2-1 pitch. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. And right into the shift. And that's going to be a base hit. So there's the possible go-ahead run aboard to kick off the seventh. Now batting the designated hitter, Mark Canna. In now, Mark Canna. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. 3-1 pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's 3-2 and two now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Chris Stavinsky comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Chris Davis will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. The 3-1 and one pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go ahead run at third now with still only one away. The right fielder. So now to the plate, Steven Piscotti. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. One and two. Here it is. 
Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. J.B. Wendelkin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. J.B. Last half of the seventh here. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. A strikeout and a lineout for him so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. Correa, left field and carrying well. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Go for two for him to this point. The 1-1 one, one home. High and deep to straightaway right. Piscotti looks up. And they have taken the lead. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine-hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that will bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. The 1-1 one home. He's running. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Brian Presley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 55. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy. Meanwhile now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And he'll get in at second base as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. The batter number five. Second base. Tony Kemp. To the plate now, Tony Kemp. A bouncer up the middle. Altuve to his right. He has it. And that's out number one. So striding in, Marcus Simeon, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and one, here it comes. A man at third with one away. Ball three. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitch has fallen behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Olson. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. The 1-1. One, one. 
hit hard on the ground is short. And a base hit as that'll bring the tying run in from third. And they've come back to knot things up at even here in the eighth. Brian Abreu gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Astros. Number 56. Standing in now, Mark Canna. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. That's in there. Base hit. Long throw to the plate. He's safe at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Into the box now, Matt Chapman. And a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's two and one. In his career, Chapman is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. The count now at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Full count, three balls and two strikes. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Two men are on with two men out. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, 1-1, one, one, might as well fish a little bit further. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. Pitch popped up. Bregman waits on it. And that's the third out. Joaquin Soria is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Coming to the plate now, Jose Altuve. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed strike three. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2 to 1 score as we play the eighth. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Another one sent foul. Again, a one-two. Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. Outside in a full count, three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. The one-two. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. Full count now. Struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order.
So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Chopper to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Austin Allen. He's Austin. 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And a swing and a miss here, and the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Ready for another chance? Ramon Laureano. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Full count, three and two. Payoff pitch home. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The batter number five. Second baseman, Tony Kemp. At the plate now, Tony Kemp reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Liam Hendricks comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 15. Digging in to try it again. George Springer. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Not an easy thing to do to score off the game's elite closers, but down by one at home, you've got a chance with that last at-bat. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. And he will get there at first, so he reaches on the drop third strike. Time called here, as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Ready for another shot now, Carlos Correa. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Digging in, Josh Reddick. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Quick check on that tying run at first, and he's back standing. Now the 2 1. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The 3 and 1 pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. So stepping in, Garrett Stubbs, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up safely to third. So they're at the corners now with two men out. So a big moment in the ball game here. Michael Brantley. And the game is on the line. The tying and winning runs on base with two gone in the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Last strike now for Houston. Swing and a liner. And it's a base hit, and we are tied here in the ninth. 
Oledmus Diaz will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Into the box, Alex Bregman. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on it. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Next to the Astro, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still time. Fouled off. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Digging in, Jorge Mateo. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. The 1 1 home. Oh, that's off the plate. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Strong is right there, one down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. Singled home a run in his last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled straight back. And another foul ball. The one two. I got to count two and two. And he chased it in the dirt. Stubbs is after it. And the throw is in time. Olsen is retired. Two down now. Striding forward now is the DH. Mark Canna. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. 3-1. and one. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now that Stepping up now, Matt Chapman. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Now the 2-1. Swing and a miss, strike two. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he fouls this one off. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Here's Merrill Petit comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Into the box, Jordan Alvarez. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. And that misses two and two. And it 
it's fouled away. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Hit down the line at first. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Three two pitch and he lays off ball four so now the potential winning run is aboard at first now in the box Miles Straw he's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap swing and a ball hit softly on the ground to second for one but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And the former number one overall pick in American League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Line drive to center field. Loriano is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Joe Smith takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 38. Standing in, Chris Davis. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The one two misses ball two Smith was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out now into the box now Stephen Piscotti struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Three balls and two strikes for Steven Piscotti. Line to the right side. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. Now batter, the catcher, Austin Allen. To the plate now, Austin Allen. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring now position now. Number 22. So it's a tight spot here, first and second, one man out. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. And with one swing in the bat, they got the lead here in extra innings. That's always the fear, right? You get into extra innings, Dan, and everybody forgets how to play baseball. And we're all just trying to create a home run derby. But that was a heck of a swing to give his team the lead. It sure was, dear. Well, now they're going to need the pitching You're staff pick to pick pump down to get through this now bottom pick half inning. Big swing of that, but you want to make it pay with the scoreless bottom of this inning. Framber Valdez, a 5'11-inch left-handed reliever, enters to take over on the mound now. So now to the plate, Tony Kemp. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now with the plate, Jorge Mateo. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Count even at 2 and 2. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Now a throw over to first. 
And he'll be back in standing up. Three runs already home here. At the plate, Matt Olson, Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Kyle Tucker, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Now a hard liner towards short, and that's through a base hit. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now at the plate, Alidmus Diaz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. Liner toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. In now, Alex Bregman. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So a runner at second, two down now. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. off the pitch down and away ball two took a good cut that time but comes up empty two and two looks to me like he's just trying to do too much up there at the plate that's an easy trap to fall into when you're the tying run but you can't be chasing pitches out of the zone count full three balls and two strikes has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a 5-4 to four ball game. Jake Diekman takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Into the box now, Jordan Alvarez. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work. But, hey, listen, a win is a win. And any win is good, especially on the road. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. Yasmera Petit earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics, five runs on 11 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. For the Astros, four runs on 11 hits, no errors, they left 12 men on base.
The winning pitcher is Yusmero Petit. His record is now three and one. The loss goes to Joe Smith. He falls to 0 and 1. Time of the ball game, 3 hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.